Empire Community Church, and we have a, a, a ministry that goes to the Greater Women Homeless Shelter. On this particular Saturday, we were down there giving out food and Bibles and personal hygiene for the women. So I was standing there and I was supposed to be praying for the women today at the end of the service. So this young homeless woman walked in and she had her stomach showing. And she had on pants, I would say it was probably two sides too big and they were rolled down. And they were rolled down so low that you could see her private part. And I immediately judged her. I said, how disgusting. So I turned around and I asked the Lord to just take that away from me. And, and I also turned around hoping that when I turned back around, she would be out of my sight. But when I turned around, she was not out of my sight, just I had a different angle to look at her. And the Holy Spirit whispered her name, Mariah. That's my youngest daughter's name. So that homeless girl no longer was a homeless girl. She was my daughter. So throughout the rest of that day, every woman that walked past me that did not have on pro uh, proper garment became Avella, Jan, Debbie, Denise, Teresa, Sandy, you, and me. So I got home that day and I was like, Lord, what am I supposed to do? He said, do something. The Holy Spirit said, do something. So I talked to the lady that runs the, um, the, the um, ministry. Her name is um, Kathy. And she told me she had experienced the same thing before. And she said that she had met a girl in the grocery store that was pregnant, holes in her clothes. And she asked her, do you want a t-shirt to cover up? And the girl said, could you, what, you could tell him pour something? And Kathy told her, no, I just thought maybe you want to cover up. So the Holy Spirit immediately said, cover me up. And that's where this ministry started from. So I'm just asking you to help cover up the young women in Greater Cleveland area. May God bless you and keep you. And that's my story.